Hello, this is not a DIY video, quite the converse. In fact, it's a DIU video because I need your help. I have been mulling over this issue for probably months actually now, just on and off, I mean, not continuously. And I really have not come up with a satisfactory solution. And I thought, right, let's get some suggestions in because in amongst those suggestions, some of which I know already will be ridiculous, there will be some gems as well. So in advance, I thank you for both the ridiculous and the gems. The issue is the camper van beds, which I've never been terribly happy about, um, specifically the way they open and the way they extend. So I've got two sections to the bed. I've got a section over here and a section over here. So they independently open and they lift so that I can get inside to either use the loo here or bring things out from storage here and same again with storage over on this one. And then of course they also pull out this way so as to make the full width double bed. Now, when you pull it out, you can see there's no, no legs on this bit. So the legs I store separately over here. And so when I pull the, the bed out, I simply attach the leg. It's got a little bit of dowel in each end and then there's a, a hole in here and then the leg goes in there there's a leg attached so i can now pull it out and it will hold the bed up and it all looks a bit flimsy and wonky and you might think it would just sort of collapse under the weight but actually um, it has been thoroughly tested and the bed stays up perfectly fine now the issue is of course you can kind of see it from how i'm holding it here that if i left the legs permanently attached then when i want to open this up to get into the storage, the legs are in the way. This is why I made them detachable, because like that, even if you lift it up to its fullest, I'm gonna clonk my head on that when I go in to reach for things. So I made them detachable, but in fact, it, it's a pain with them being detachable because I have to find somewhere in the van to store them. Then I have to poke the little dowels into their little holes, and it is wobbly. I mean, once, it's down and you're lying on it, it sort of holds itself firm, but it's not great. So I want something that is a leg on this, that stays on this, so I don't have to take it off and put it somewhere else, but that gets out of the way when I open it. The obvious solution, of course, is to put it on a hinge. So if you forget the dowels, imagine that there, and it just hinges back like that. Now that obviously is perfect, it means it would flip out, go down, the legs would then stay permanently on display as it were when, when the thing is down, but I would lift it up and then it would flip out of the way and I can instantly get to the storage inside with no problems. But what is my problem with that? I mean, maybe that is the answer. I'm, 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 I'm in an ahhing about it because if you put them on a hinge, the other thing I want to be able to do with these is not bring the bed fully out so that it's touching the kitchen unit, which is where I would have it for being a bed set up. If I pull this out fully, when, when you want the double bed, you want this fully out. But sometimes I want the bed pulled just halfway out so that when I'm sitting at the kitchen unit, I'm close enough to be able to use it Whereas you see if it's normally fully back, I'm miles away from the kitchen unit and I have to just perch on the edge, which is not ideal. I want to be able to bring that out a bit so that I can use it as a more comfortable seating area when I'm sitting, even just that, even that, that's about six inches. That has made the difference in terms of comfort when sitting at the kitchen unit. So, that's another reason I want the legs permanently attached, so that I can bring this out. Um, and it worries me that if I had that on a hinge, when I've pushed it right up against the side, the hinge wouldn't be a bother. But when it's in its part way out position, if it's on a hinge and I, I don't know, if I jiggle about as I'm sitting, would it suddenly collapse underneath me or not? And then I started thinking, well, maybe I need a hinge with a latching mechanism and a hinge with a a, a bit of dowel that's gone, or not dowel, but a little triangular shaped bit that notches into... I, I, I just... I don't know if I'm just getting myself into a completely unreasonable tiz about this, because actually now I'm sitting on these, if I jiggle about, may, maybe if it was on a hinge it wouldn't collapse. I mean, that's, that's, 
that's using it with the little dowels kind of holding the leg in place. But I don't know, is there, is there a better answer to this for some sort of leg? I did wonder whether I should have um, legs that, just straight down legs that fold up along here, but then that length isn't long enough to be the down length as well, and the two legs would get in the way of each other, so they'd have to be um, extendable or something. It all just turns into a terrible mess. Um, what can I do about these? I don't know. And then, of course, the ultimate thing would be take out that whole bed unit. Just redo that. I, 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 I don't want to do this, but conceivably one could take out the whole bed unit and remake it so that it's drawers, which some people did suggest right back in the early days, and with hindsight, arguably drawers might have been better, except that, of course, I've got the loo in there now, so that can't be a drawer. So, in fact, no, forget the drawers, because that always will need to lift so that I can use the loo. Now, the loo was supposed to be somewhere else. It was supposed to be where the battery compartment is, but the electrics took up more space than I originally envisaged, which is why the loo ended up here. Uh, do you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, Although I'm still not entirely sure if I redid the van, I'd still end up having all the same battles for where to put things. I'm not sure it would actually come out any different. But, right, forget the drawers, but some sort of permanent legs. If I simply had permanent legs down the edge of this, would they be so much in the way when I lifted it up? They'd be sticking out here and sticking out here, so I wouldn't clonk my head on them, but I guarantee I'd probably clonk my arm or break them off or so anything sticking out is going to get broken off isn't it isn't it do you think maybe it isn't maybe i should just put some permanent legs there that are just solid and fixed i know because then if you're sitting on the loo that one's going to be you you can't do it can you because if that one's there it's going to be in the way of you sitting on the loo if that wasn't the loo and was just storage that would work but it is a loo so that won't work so that one will always have to be movable or foldable or something. Ah, oh, dear. Anyway, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle and just stewing on this for ages about wild ideas brewing around in my mind with these elaborate contraptions for locking the legs into place and extending the legs. And it's all things that are beyond the means of me to be able to create and they're probably way over complicated for what I need anyway. So, suggestions please. How can I have legs on the pull-out section that will enable me to pull it out to any degree of being pulled out whilst remaining firm and yet when lifted up the legs aren't protruding out so that I can sit on the loo or get into the storage without crashing into those legs. Answers on a postcard or better still in the comments below please. Thank you for humouring me with this. Cheerio!